Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a flight attendant based out of Philadelphia, and I have a limb difference. I was born with symbragadactyly. It's right here. Very long word. Basically means that my fingers ended at this moment right here. And why did it end right here? The truth? I don't know. No one really knows. And what they did when I was 18 months old is they took bones from my toes and they put them into my fingers to see that if they could extend this growth any further. And my parents even wrote me this letter, which I still have today too. It's written on the legal pad. It's when I was actually in the operating room. And it's really my dad just explaining what the surgery is, what they're expecting to come from it, and really this end piece that just asks for my forgiveness if this is something that I decide that I don't want when I'm older. And the cool thing is this bone right here took so if you see that like little movement right there, from the end of that joint to the tip of my fingers, from my toe, which is kind of cool. This surgery is really helpful for my functional development and that I was able to grab and manipulate a lot more things. I did baton, I did basketball, I did horseback riding, I did ballet. I just recently started doing aerial arts and I'm able to climb up some silks and I'm able to do drops and I can do flips and I can spin around on the lira. It's really cool. Prove it! Here, let me show you. And the neat thing now about being a flight attendant is that I'm using my hands all the time with my job. And I thought it'd be really fun. I'd get to travel the world. I'd get to go to all these different places, meet all these really wonderful people. And I was like, sign me up. Some of the hardest parts of having a limb difference are really sort of navigating the reactions that I get from other people. But I think it's important to know that, to have assumptions about people, but then be welcome to have them changed or challenged easily. This is human variation, that this is what a hand can look like. And sometimes people have fingers, sometimes people don't, and that's okay, this is normal. Using person first language, and what this is, is we talk about the person first, and then we talk about the condition or diagnosis or whatever second. So I'm a person with a limb difference, and there are people who use wheelchairs. It's not wheelchair bound person or limb different person because then the hyper focus becomes on that condition. But it's important to remember that I'm a person first. And like, yes, this limb difference is a very big part of my life, but it also isn't all of it. I'm so much more than my difference. I can do this. I passed the same training, we're in this together, and we're gonna have fun. Don't worry, I gotcha. I'm also gonna have a drink to you like this, and I've never spilt it on anyone. I won't spill it on you. And to all the kiddos out there who have limb differences or any other type of difference or disability, don't let these words define you. You can choose the words that you want to define you. You can rewrite the rules. You can be whatever you want to be. You can be a flight attendant. Thank you for listening to my story. Now let's go change the world.